I welcome this video, which is all about how to make money fast on your Forex trading account. Now, it doesn't matter if your account is just a few hundred dollars or it's far larger. The tips I'll give you in this tutorial will help you maximize your profit potential whilst keeping risk at manageable levels. Now, I also want to cover what I consider to be the best strategy to help grow your account, have your money working hard, the best pairs uh, to trade, and also uh, a realistic target growth to aim for. Now, in relation to this, what I want to do is just list out um, my favorite tips for you know, increasing uh, your account quickly. Then I want to come back and discuss the points I make in a little bit more detail. Now, I'm just gonna show you the tips on a storyboard very quickly. It only take about a minute and a half, then we'll be back to discuss them in more detail. I'll come back after that uh, short summary there. Now, there are many different strategies that can make money in Forex trading, of course, but I think you know, the strategy I've just um, summarized there is probably the best in terms of making your capital work hard. Now, in terms of yeah, price spikes, I put you know, two or three standard deviations from a mean price or a 20-day moving average. You can you know, look at that setup by just putting a Bollinger Band on your charts. Yes, yeah, a standard indicator. And you'll always notice that when you do get a highly volatile price spike, two or three standard deviations from the mean 20 day moving average, the price spike fades. Why? Because the spikes either up or down are just driven by short term bursts of greed or fear, and then the price spike fades. You see that on any currency pair you like, yeah, going backwards. Yeah, it's never ever going to change. You know? Human psychology remains the same and traders are always going to push prices too far to the upside or downside in the short term, the price spike will fade. Obviously, you've got to trade the price spike um, and you know, time your entry correctly. That comes with a little practice. Also, we've got numerous videos up on trading standard deviation to the mean, so you can look them up. And you know, these trades always offer you good risk to reward. You know, two to one, to four to one when we, we do it. That's the sort of risk rewards we're going for. You get a result very, very quickly, either a loss or a profit. Obviously, you're aiming for profits. You are going to get quite a few losses trading with this method. We, we probably take about 50% of our trades as losers, which they are. 50% uh, the win make up, of course, the losers because the profits are bigger. So it's a fantastic strategy of making your money work hard all the time. Now, you're not always going to get price spikes if you just follow a few pairs. You need to follow a lot of pairs. Now, a lot of beginners make the mistake of just following the majors. It's a huge mistake. Yeah. It's the more pairs, the better. Um, yeah, there's no pair 
that's any better than any other to trade. Yeah, it depends upon how the pair is moving. And a lot of traders think, well, you know, I only pay a few pips in the euro, for example. That's the best pair to trade or the other majors with similar pip spreads. Yeah, crosses there. Yeah, 10 pips or more. Doesn't matter. If you've got the profit potential, let's say, in a, a cross trade of several hundred pips and you're paying 10, that is fine. Same goes for some of the minor currencies as well. I would monitor at least 20 to 30 pairs and pick out the best opportunities. Now, in terms of how many pairs should you trade in your account, I would say restrict it to two. Just pick out the, the pairs you like the best. Don't be tempted to do a lot of pairs, okay? A lot of traders do this because they think they're spreading the risk. No, you're not. Um, in terms of you diversify, all you're doing is diluting your profit potential. Yeah, why not just focus on the best pairs? Yeah, you don't need to put pairs that you're not so confident in as well, okay? Firmly believe with what Warren Buffett said about you know, diversification. It's only for people who don't know what they're doing. It is. Once you learn this strategy, you understand why diversification is not a good idea. Yeah, in terms of yeah, just going back to pip spreads, you're not going to be trading very frequently with this strategy. Maybe a few times a week. No more than that. That's enough to make you 30 to 100% annualized gains. Now, I'll put 30 to 100% down as yeah, a realistic target growth. I've seen many traders achieve those growth rates. Now, everyone is different in terms of their risk tolerance and the way they trade. So you, you find your own profit level. But I think between 30 and 100% is achievable um, for most traders. Yeah, yeah, they do their homework. Now, in terms of um, when you're trading this strategy, what you want to do is make sure you're always focused and disciplined. You know, don't aim for you know, 100% per annum. Break it down into a quarterly figure, i.e. 25 percent that will keep you very focused on that figure it'll keep you disciplined okay you'll just be working towards the smaller goal and then you know eventually you'll get to your you know longer term goal now in terms of you know trading price spikes it's a very easy to understand strategy okay the, the logic is just soundly based um so very quick to learn and I think, yeah, in terms of yeah, risk per trade, I put a maximum of 5%. That means you've got to be wrong six times to draw down 30%, okay? Now, I've been trading this strategy for 20 years. And yeah, my most in terms of consecutive losses has been four, so 20%. I think a 30% drawdown is manageable. You know, you can come back from that, but you mustn't be in a hurry. If you do have six trades that lose on the trot, cut back your risk exposure, be patient, and you know, just wait to get back to a new peak in equity. Do not try and go too quickly or just dig yourself a bigger hole. Too many traders want to recover losses as quickly as possible. You shouldn't do that. Your emotions will come into play. So basically, take it slowly. Now, in terms of those tips, um, they're all easy to learn. The strategy is easy to learn as well. And yeah, they are simple tips, but they will help you make money fast in Forex trading, help you grow a trading account, be it a small one or a large one. It's a timeless way to make profits in my view. So that is the video for today. Thank you very much for watching me as per usual. Take care. Have a good day.